Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about the past years and especially 2020 according to human design and um, also going to talk about today's transits just now. So today we've got the channel of a bargain from 40 to 37, um, which you know, if the that's the background frequency of the entire planet. But we also have gate ten, which uh basically lines up with my twenty to fifty seven, which gives the channel of perfected form, which it's a it's like a frequency that I'm seeking a lot because when you have the channel of the brain wave twenty to fifty seven you're always kind of wanting the 10 which will like straighten things out and give you more correct form um, formulas forms doing things in the correct like getting the details set so anyways let's talk about um, let's go back to 2020 rave new year so this year was really interesting for me because, um, well, kind of in a negative way. Because if you look at 2020 versus my route, um, I pretty much have all of the gates hanging on my open route. So you have all this pressure from 1939, 41, 52. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gates. <clears throat> and then I have my regular two gates on the hanging route, which means I don't actually have the consistent energy to do these things that I want to do. So 2020 was an enormous pressure for me because <coughs> I had all of this transits kind of pushing me, um, influencing me to do things too quickly and too soon. And I ended up going and making a lot of mistakes in 2020 financially especially and I think this root pressure is definitely related to the uh, finances or however it's it's also part of the I think it's part of the mental stream so um, it's one of the two pressure centers in the body graph so the bottom of the body graph you've got pressure from the root and the top you've got pressure from the head those both create um, when they're open not fixed they create an enormous amount of pressure compared to the other centers um, and it's it's kind of constant pressure in your life when you have an open root like I do so let's see 2020 we had the channel of the struggle from 28 to 38 now what's interesting is that now that we're in the year 2022 we I'm sorry this channel of struggle like struggling for what's worth fighting for is still present in our transits but it's actually uh, there's not as many gates pressure I, I'd say there's fewer pressurized gates here um, there is the gate 53 which is new beginnings and then gate 60 which is mutating things and um, gate 41 is I'm feeling this a lot it's just the desire to experience something not necessarily knowing what it is but like I feel this big urge to have to get into business or to get into building something with someone else and I have a lot of ideas or drive about what I would wish other people would come and collaborate with me and do and uh, so in that way it's it's similar to 20 20 which also had that but in this year it's also in the subconscious um, another thing I wanted to notice um, 
is that the in the year 2020 we had <clears throat> let's see I also had I'll just say a, um, a family member that has the channel of 60 to 3 so I also had that energy like on um, in my life and it, it was you know pumping even more drama so we have <laughs> we have 2020 and I think that's why the, the people who chose to make this pandemic thing such a big deal and like skew the the numbers about how many people are dying or whatever it was because there was so much pressure I don't know if they forecasted this year using human design but because there's so much pressure on everyone from the transits on their route um, it's like a good opportunity to use that pressure to push people into false conclusions and making making uh well bonds made and broken but basically making conclusions because of that mental pressure coming from the transits and then having the news and everything amplifying and riding on that energy anyways so that's how i see it and now you know my side of <clears throat> how I look at that whole situation. Let's see what else is in the 2020 transits. Fixed rhythms. I was always at gate five's fixed rhythms. I was always having trouble like getting my meals on time. I was always hungry. There's so much like um, I guess energy from the sacral and by the way, this is just a snapshot of the whole 2020 year give, um, based on the the first day in the sun cycle because the rave new year actually starts on or around February, sorry, January 22nd of each year. So in January 22nd is when you have the new sun cycle. But at the end of the calendar year, the Gregorian year is actually... That's just, um, it's just a calendar year. So you actually have a ton of pressure. Ross said there's actually a ton of pressure because you're in gate 39. Um, the pressure is just being sent out on New Year's Eve more than anything else. It's not a good time to actually make New Year's resolutions. So... So this, uh, this char these charts are basically from February twenty second of the twenty twenty year. Now the variables for twenty twenty were, you know, most of them are pointing left, so most of them were strategic. There was a lot of strategic push to be strategic in your life to do things the way that things had worked in the past. But the way that those strategic strategies actually came about was very. Um, receptive or kind of creative and right right um right perspective here uh let's see um with the open head center there was there's gate 61 and 63 so there's a lot of doubt and a lot of random stuff being pumped into people's <laughs> consciousness sadly um and then also people were like let's see 23 versus 43 is about um morality and like joining things together whereas 23 is about splitting them apart so 43 yeah it was like finding the next step using morality But that's just the transit, so you don't want to make your decisions based on transits, ideally. Um, 
Let's look at the Jupiter. So Jupiter is in 38 and 26. So 26, the gate of the egoist, and like sales, part of the willpower of the heart, the will center. So there's a lot of selling myself that I did for sure. And then also, which I think actually got me into trouble because it was just the transits. <laughs> But in the larger picture, it was okay. I mean, I got a lot of wisdom. And then also the Jupiter of 38.3. So Jupiter is your law and your luck. It's the law that you must follow to have luck. Or else you pay the price of Saturn, which is directly below it. Uh, let's see, 38 is part of the channel of struggle. So... I guess knowing what to struggle for is part of bringing you good luck. Um, so a lot of struggling and sales in that year. And then we also have 61.4, which would be doubting or questioning your network. But that's actually, that would be the price to pay if you weren't following the Jupiter. And then also, the price to pay would be 54.1. Where is that? Yeah. Um, 54 root. It's, a, it's a, the marrying maiden. Drive to bring things together. I'm not sure exactly how I would explain that in terms of my experience that year. And then, let's see, gate 58 was on the route. So that was all about, like, getting corrected, I guess, or accepting correction. Yeah. Which would be in the south node, which would bring, I don't know, kind of like good luck, but, like, just a common theme for that year. Um... The south node would be part of how we see things, I guess. Or the south node is like the railroad tracks of what generated the overall theme for 2020. It's, just over, it's like the structure. So 58.5 would be accepting the universalized paradigm, which began to be uh, whatever the drama was on the TV, everyone was talking about it. So that was a south node. Okay, so that's my 2020 year in review. I don't know if I'll go any further th than that. Okay, I will. There, there's 50 to 27, which is part of the defense mechanism circuitry, and it's also like the channel of building, I think. So you have 27, which is nurturing, and 50, which is laws or lawfulness. So, yeah, there was a lot of, there's a lot of bouncing back and forth in our lives between nurturing, being nurtured, and being pushed around by legality. We're trying to figure out what the legality is, you know, with all this legal stuff that we think are, is, is floating around in our head in Gate 61. We're going, uh, what does this all mean? Are these people actually telling the truth? Are they actually giving us correct legal things, or are they just holding to their adverb, verb, fiction, babble language? So anyways, you can hear that I had a lot of spite for 2020. And then we have uh, in Mercury, gate 19, which is sensitivity. So a sensitivity to communications, which aids people staring at the TV a lot. And then, I mean, I was on YouTube a lot, so... Everyone has their way of finding their truth. And then gate 37 and Venus. It's kind of the moral 
dilemma. The question was, what community are you joining? And which community is going to get you to the next level with the sixth line? And which community is not good for you? And how do you know? And this was before I knew my human design. I didn't really make decisions as myself all the time. I was making a lot of mental decisions because of root pressure. And then the unconscious Venus, 43. Thinking that we're able to just rationalize, or not rationalize, but thinking that this, oh, it's okay, I'm in this new community, and it's great, because this and that, um, mor like, morally correctness. Well, I hope my babbling has helped you understand the rave New Year for 2022 or 2020. And uh, I guess in the next video, after I eat lunch, I will talk about this year, 2022. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, tell me what you want to hear about, what you want me to explain. And uh, okay, go in the peace and uh, in the truth. <laughs>